a Peruno um, Navnet 3D system, which I had on the 88 footer that the owner had. And I would never used it before. I've always been a Noble Tech person. Um, and what I found is it's very nice to use, easy to use. Um, we put redundancy with the Navnet, so we have two separate units, two separate radars. And um, I know that I've had people that do deliveries with me with this system, and they are all impressed with, with how it operates. Um, the Furuno Navnet system, for me, I probably wouldn't have picked it out, but I'm glad uh, I got on a boat that had it. All right, well, fantastic. Can you tell us a little bit about the communication system that we selected and installed? The communication system is another one that's uh, <laughs> quite intricate. Uh, we have the ability to go online uh, through the Navnet system, through uh, uh, an amplifier system, um, through the cell, you know, a, a cell GSM card, uh, SIM card, so we're not going to lose the satellite or not lose internet. We did a KDH V7 system, we did a 3G land-based cellular system, uh, and we've got Wi-Fi all over the boat, we've got a lot of different sources of Wi-Fi, we've got phone systems, we've got satellite phones, we've got lots of different communication options for you to use, so I, I don't think communication is going to be an issue. I know how important communication is for the boss. That's right. And uh, uh, last year we went to the Caribbean. We didn't have any of this stuff. And uh, I think the VSAT, for me, the VSAT is, uh, is going to be a great addition. One good thing I can say about KDH is you really don't have to know a lot about it. Because I've been on a boat, a few boats where we had, uh, and I don't mean the bash CTEL, but we've had CTEL on the boat. And you have to be, uh, you've got to have your your compass headings and deviations and variations. And you always gotta, you always gotta make adjustments. You don't have to do that with the KDH. Well, we like that, and we like to recommend equipment that has a proven track record because we know you're going somewhere far, far from here, and we want this system to be reliable for you. And that's kind of what I think we've achieved here. We've got stuff with a great track record on your helm, and I think you're gonna have a pretty flawless experience with it uh, when you're using it down on uh, Because you know. As a, as a lot of people know, you can have somebody put in all this intricate, and, and I'll have to say it's a very intricate system, um, but if you don't have anybody who can troubleshoot and fix it, it becomes a, a nightmare. And, uh, and that's why we chose to do that um, with, uh, with Conway. Um, for the most part, I would have to say everything went according to plan. <laughs> yeah, there's always some glitches. No, uh, I say that because really uh, everything has gone according to plan, and, and it's usually not that way. Um, we're here at the last minute, we're going to go on a ship and head down to the Caribbean, and basically we have everything working on this boat, and um, it was a lot of hard work, I'll have to say. Like I said, I I'm happy with all the equipment. We've got gyro, uh, satellite gyro. I mean, the, the list goes on. I don't think you can find a better boat, uh, a more um, well thought out help than this on a 100 footer. I, I, I challenge you to find this on 150 footers. So. All right, well, we're glad you like it. Thank you. Thank you. We look forward to uh, lots of dependable reliability out of the system for you. And uh, I don't know if you have any time go down below and we can look at the entertainment system if you got a few minutes. Well, that's one of the biggest things on this boat, so we can talk about that for sure.